Hi and welcome to my first tutorial on how to create a Kylo Ren smoke. This smoke was really really easy made and re it's really fast to simulate, it's really fast to render. So I wanted to share with you guys my tricks and you can create your own galactic smoke or whatever. Basically I chose this picture and put it onto a grid. And then I transferred, well, it's automatically transferred the colors to the position of the particles. And then I made the particles move with the smoke. And then there comes the trick, which I will show you. For this tutorial, I will use this picture. All right, let's get started. First of all, we create a grid, call it um, color source. And then comes the easy step to create a node called attribute from map. All right, this will give color to our grid or geometry. You can see it has a really low resolution and the reason for that is that the grid has a low number in rows and columns. So we put it up to like 250 and since we want to put our picture on it, first of all, you see that it's um, reversed. Reversed. So we want to make it normal. For that, we go on the image settings and invert the U layer. All right. Now it's the way it should be. And to select our image, we have to go on the texture map, go to the location or direction, and simply double click it. <clears throat> now we got the color on the grid and as I said it goes automatically to the particles for that we create the pub network and if we hit play you already can see that the color is applied to the particles depending on the position <laughs> okay we want to disable this guide because we don't, we can see and you see that the number of particles is too low for us to see the image unless we zoom really far out. So we simply increase it to like 500,000. That's all right. Okay. Now we want to make it move and we want to make it move with the smoke, but first we need the smoke. We create the smoke the same size as the grid. We, we The grid we use for the color and Call it smoke source. All right. Now we want to create a dub network because we want to use this shell tools. Smoke. And if we didn't create this dub network and select it down here, we would get the simulation to be created into the pub network, and we don't like that. We don't. We don't want that. Okay. Here we are. We got a a little smoke simulation the resolution sucks the detail sucks but we just want to learn how to apply the color right so i'll give it just a little bit more of resolution so we can see a render i will give it the size in x and in z of our grid close the boundaries so the room gets really filled up with smoke. I have to um, uncheck the minus y axis. I don't really know why, but if I check it, the particles won't move right. If anybody knows why, please leave a comment below and tell me or write me, because I would really like to know why. Okay, now to apply the, the velocity, or to say so, to move our particles, we need to export the velocity. For that I will use a blast node and blast the name attribute. Well, it's better to say that I will remove everything but the velocity, okay? So now we deleted only the velocity, but if we select to delete non-selected, we see we got the velocity in x, y and z direction. Alright, we 
create a null node to find it easier. Call it out fill field. And we don't want to see this, we want to see this. Alright, now we go into the um, color source and create an object merge node. We want to import the velocity. Here it is. Transform to this object for no particular reason. I always do that. If you want to see the velocity, you can use a primitive. Go into volumes, adjust visualization, and you can see the velocity. It looks really brutal, really aggressive and turbulent, but you will see it will work just fine. All right. So we go into our pop network, and now we need to create a node which transfers the velocity to our particles, and it's called pop at vect by volumes. All right. We put it just after the source. Select the second context geometry, or if you want, you can just select the the sub. But I like things easy, so I just put it into the second context geometry and now I choose it alright, we want to update the velocity, not the force this is our advection type so if we hit play now it should and does go up with the smoke if you don't believe me, let's go out, you see the smoke um, now we see the particles inside or with the smoke, alright? So, we already got our smoke color, right? Let's render this out. Let's see what happens. What do you think? And the result is... Ugly, 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 ugly. We just render particles. We don't want to render the particles. We want to transfer the smoke, uh, the color to the smoke, sorry. First of all, let's check if we have material. We don't have material. We have to create a pyro shader and apply it to the smoke. Yes, let's see if it worked. Generating scene. As you can see, I only got five threads working. Doesn't seem like it worked. Did it work? It didn't work. So we make it manu manually. Now it has to work. All right, now the trick is to transfer the color to the smoke. Well, better to say my trick is by creating a geometry light out of our particles. So we select our particles, those, and create a geometry light select it, hit enter right, now we got the geometry light so if we render this out, will it work? what do you think? dun 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 does it? Does it work out? Nope, it doesn't. Everything is black. The reason for that is that the scattering phase is on zero. We need to put it on one. If we put it on one, it works like a mirror, to say so. The smoke reflects light, and that's what we want. That's the final trick. We now got colored smoke, guys. But, you see it's dark, we want to make it bright and, well, that's easy. Just change the color to white and maybe raise the smoke brightness. I guess in my tutorial I used even 10. Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. As easy as that. You got colored smoke, and this is really, really uh, the easiest way I can think of. 
I watched a tutorial and it was really difficult. I, I couldn't even follow, but somehow my brain said that this should work out, and it did. And it was really fun making it. So you see, there are a lot of points, those dots. You can create an attribute wrangle and simply work at the p scale attribute, say it should be smaller, like 0 0.02. Oops. Control enter. Uh -huh. Now the points are smaller, but you see there is a lot of space between. You can see the black much more than before. So it's up to you. I don't know, you have to find the right balance. Another thing you can do is to improve, um, to increase the constant birth rate, but your simulation would get heavier and heavier. We can try that out. Let's make 5 million points and go to frame 25. Let's see what happens. Okay. That looks nice. Looks even better than I saw. Than I thought. I'm sorry if my English is not as good as it should be for a tutorial. I hope you understand everything I say. I learned my English in school and watching movies in English. But yeah. That looks nice. Looks better than I thought. Maybe here not so much, but you have to work with the shader and with the with the particles number and yeah, mostly with the shader. And if you get more detail into your smoke, it will look really, really nice. But yeah, that's how you create a colored smoke. You saw it rendered in 40 seconds. I mean, that's nothing. And the simulation also, it's really, really fast. Well, that's it. My tutorial on how to create a colored smoke is finished. I wish you well and keep it up. See you on the next one.